everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So as you can see, we got everything fixed up, and I was able to sell a ton of crap. We had a bunch of Inner Sphere stuff, a couple of Clan XL items that we were able to sell off and stuff. So we've got Mech Bay 3 up and running. That was 2.25 million. We, I ended up with 2.7 million or something like that. Um, so we've got that running right now, which is going to be a huge increase in uh, Mech Bay efficiency now that we have two lance run, Lances running. Um, so that's good, and we've got enough, almost enough here to make the end of the month uh, financial report. We should have no problem making that in the next few missions or so. So let's have a quick look in the mech bays because I did change a couple of things. So we talked about perhaps switching around the Jenner slightly. The missile spam on this was great, but the problem with it was we ran out of ammo really early. So I wanted to do something a little different here. Um, our ammo situation is actually quite good now. So I pulled out uh, one of the LRM-15s, so that was a, you know, a big deal. And we put in some LRM NARC ammo, so now we can dedicate one of the LRM-5s to just running NARC, uh, which is good. And then we've got 40 LRMs that we can fire. It's, uh, it's you know, two-thirds of the 60 that we had before, but with 40 LRMs running, we've got um, six turns of regular LRM ammo and six turns of LRM Artemis ammo which is, is really good. So that's 12 turns of firing. I think that's plenty. Um, plus we've got 12 turns of NARC ammo um, with a dedicated LRM-5, so we can be hitting a lot more often, which is good. And I, I was able to tuck in an ER medium laser. Um, now this guy, uh, no, it wasn't this guy, sorry. One of our guys was running a, um, um, uh, what's it called? Um, my God, the AMS system that was running AMS for this whole group. So we were able to pull that out, but it wasn't this guy. Uh, so I was able to get in an ER medium laser and a Guardian ECM, which is going to help a little bit, uh, I think, overall. this is If we go along and we run out of ammo, we've, also, we've always got this uh, ER medium laser so we can contribute, like before that last episode uh, where we played with these guys. Um, this Jenner wasn't really contributing. And I was also able to, actually, you know what? I think this guy did have the Guardian AMS, which is why I was able to increase the engine core. We had a 120 in here, now we got a 165. So we got a little bit more speed, uh, which is a huge bonus too. And I was able to pull out a few heat sinks because we didn't need six anymore. We only needed four, so I pulled two of them out. And we're pretty heat efficient overall. Uh, if you take 20 heat off that, that's the missile fire. So we'll be shooting 48, 60 when we're firing missiles. And then if we want to include the ER medium, for an alpha strike it's still pretty reasonable so it, that's pretty good or we can leave off the lrm narc if we want to and that'll save a little bit of heat so this guy is i think uh much better laid out now we just need to get upper arm missile uh actuators so that's the other thing we need to look at now let's have a look um so what else did i do here the kit fox we just replaced um we lost we had lost um no, this was the guy that actually was running. Was it this guy? I think it was this guy that was running the AMS system. It was, sorry. So we had to pull that out because it's obsolete. Right, that's what we did. And we put another ER medium laser in. Unfortunately, we need to find a lower arm actuator. This won't use a hand, unfortunately. Uh, but we got the heatsink uh, cooling pod back in. We, but we put a watchdog suite in here. So that's going to help the entire lance. Um, and I think we put another double heat sink in. So we're pretty efficient heat-wise. Um, we're going to run a little hot on, on warm worlds, but we can just cycle off one of the ER mediums, and, and that's fine. So that's the Kit Fox. Now, I don't think I did too many other tweaks to the first lance. The first lance, I think, now is still running the same. The Grinner remained the same. Um, and the Adder remained the same, I believe, with the medium pulses. Yeah, those stayed the same. So the main lance, we changed the Nova around a little bit. I want to try something. It was really cheap. It was only a day's worth of work, and I think 12000 or 14000 in in um, repairs. So what we did was we dropped the three triple-strength Myomars in it to give it a little bit of extra speed. Not much. I mean, 10% or 12% uh, walking and 6% sprinting, so it's not too bad. We swapped out the ATMs for streaks. And put in two tons of streak ammo so the streak won't fire unless it's definitely going to hit which is great so um we'll save on ammo there um put a guardian ecm in uh, actually we may have already had that in before no we actually we didn't we put that i put that in just so we have a extra um defense because i think a lot of the biggest one of the biggest issues in that last episode that we played um we still had issues with um 
the enemy being able to see us at range, so that was a problem. And we dropped another double heat sink in. So this guy's running really heat efficient right now, 84, 81. Uh, I'm interested to see how well it works. It's only going to be a direct fire platform now, which is why I wanted to add the TSMs and to give it a little bit more speed just to get into combat. Um, if we don't like it, we can always switch it around. Um, but this, I think, is probably going to work out fairly well. If we can find some better streak ammo, that'll be good too. So that's the Nova, and I think that's it. We didn't really change anything else around. So there's our lances. Now let's go ahead and take a con Actually, I want to look at the barracks because I didn't adjust the mech warriors at all. So let's have a look, quick look here and see if we got anything. So blockade, um, you're a long range guy. He always seems to go slow. So there's a, do we want sensor distance and an, we don't need indirect fire. Actually, you know what? We're, we're saving for a warlord. So let's keep it at that. Um, El Duce, I think the same. We're saving for Warlord now, aren't we on these guys? I'm pretty sure we are, so let's just save that up. Uh, we could go overheat threshold with Griff. Don't think we need to, though, so I think we're, think we're fine. Uh, Hannibal the Cannibal, let's... Mm, you're not really running melee at all, so let's go with Gunnery. I know we're paying extra per month by increasing them now, but... I have a tendency to forget, so we're going for gunnery with her. For um, Shogun, we want to get more evasion on, so we're going to confirm that. Mech warrior training complete. That extra one evasion makes a huge order. difference, I feel. Uh, six pack, let's wait for gunnery for you, I think. Yes, Commander. And Sundance, we're still waiting. Okay, so that's not bad, not bad at all. Um, so contracts, we got two choices. There's a couple of base defense missions down here. Um, yeah. Garrison duty. Three and a half skulls. Defend base in the band lands. Versus who? Doesn't say. Lance of Mercs. To babysit the outpost. I don't know, but 521 is pretty good salvage. Frontal assault, same thing. Fan base in the Badlands. Man of the People is the escort mission. 521. I think we're going to do garrison duty. Let's try this out. This should give us a good feeling of what our, how our lance is operating again. Especially with those uh, ATMs being swapped out. Alright, let's go this route. That should cover drop costs and repair costs. Main lance is set up and ready to go, so let's deploy and get this done. Enemy contact. Command interface initiated. Okay. Um, multiple enemy contacts. Nighttime battle. Uh, this map has us running all over. Good thing clan weapons are long range. As long as these two vehicles don't get smoked in the first turn, uh, we should be okay. And I think they're being chased at the moment. By Hellfire, 60 ton mech. Of course, what else would it be being chased by? Um, and we can't even target the damn thing. Because of course we can't. Uh, I think I want to set up on the trees though. That's a lot of evasion. That's nice. I don't know. We're going to need the turrets, but I don't know if it was... We should take the sacrificing damage against us. To target somebody. At least they've got lots of evasion. God, this guy looks cool. He's ignoring the vehicles. Standing by. Probably because they're so damn hard to hit. We can't even hit them. Uh, let's get up here. Ten four. Yeah. Yes, Commander. We can't hit them over here. I wonder if he can see us. Let's fire on them. Okay, nice solid shots. Thank you. Nice. Those fucking turrets online, man.
those turrets online, guys. Or we're going to be dead meat here. What kind of turrets are we looking at? Heavy sniper turret, heavy laser turret, camouflaged LRM turret, and what's the last one here? Heavy sniper turret. Okay, so the sniper is going to help out on this side for sure. Duce, we can unload with SRMs from back here. We've got the watchdog suite and everything. We should be okay, I think. Now we can't hit with the streaks. That's the range issue, I think, is the big deal. I copy. Okay. This is a three and a half skull, so we're running two mediums and two lights in this mission. Yeah, shoot him. It's a coup, man. It's a pretty coup shot, man. Come on, get up here. We coo, we coo. All right. What's this guy again? No idea. Oh, that's a thunderbolt. Yes, man. <laughs> found me, found me a thunderbolt turret on our side instead of shooting against us. Okay, what's this guy again? It's another coup. Okay. Uh, there's four guys over here, so we have to be very careful. This is going to be tricky because um, there's going to be more lances coming on this side. Okay, there's the... Ah, oh, shit. He showed up at the last second. Kintaro. Damn it. Um, they're going to target the turrets, I think, first. Most likely. He can't see us. He cannot see us. Do we pull the 60 tonner down first? I think we do. I think that's it. I think we do that. So let's take this guy. Firing. Yeah, girl. Strip that armor. Head hit. Nicely done. Okay, blockade, you don't have to move in. Uh, let's get you sprinting over here. Oh, we got a side shot. Kintaro, but I don't think we want to do that. We want to get back here. Let's keep our ECMs working with us. I've got something. You do. Let's hammer this guy, though. Oh, yeah. That's another head hit. Oh, man. I love salvage off that guy. We got 521. This is going to be a really hard mission. Cougar, okay, it's not so bad. Shoot the vehicles, man. They got lots of armor. Yep. Okay, now Duce... We do have ECM and everything. We can hit from here, and it's only going to fire ones that we know that can hit. So let's do that. Just going to walk it, give us a better chance. What do we have back here? A griffin? Man, this is going to be a hell of a fight. Um, we may have to bail on this one, too. Let's fire on this guy. That's a lot of serms that hit. He's down to half armor now. It's taking a little longer than I expected, but I'm hoping these turrets start taking their toll. Now, Heavy Sniper, I can't remember what... I think he's got lasers, doesn't he? Thunderbolt 20, Rotary AC2. MMLs, with bonus to hit ammo. Machine gun and tag. That doesn't bode well. That doesn't bode well, either. That's a lot of lasers, but it's a regular turret. Normal AC2s and PPCs. What's an F ion? Yes, shoot him. Shoot him. What's an F ion? Anybody? If anyone knows, drop it in the section down below. Comment section. I'd like to know what that is. Uh, we might be able to move behind the Kintaro and shoot him. Come on, dude, you were giving us the visual range on him. Why are you, like... I guess he wants to stay alive. Eh, go figure. Give me eyes on, give me eyes on. No, not quite. Sensor lock's good, too. Another sensor lock from a turret. A 
There's the rack. Hopefully it didn't jam. Two large lasers. He's taking a lot of hits. Um, grip the stiff. Let's just hammer this guy. We're gonna kill him, but not much we can do. Better, better than that than him having him fire all those medium heavy lasers. Can't have him be shooting. Can't have him be shooting. I spoke good English. Um, I don't think I want to get to a point where they can. Oh, we had a back shot over here. Don't think I cannot take that back shot. This is the Kintaro. Uh, we're not going to kill him, but we might as well shoot up his back a little bit. Or just hit him once to scare him a little bit, I guess. Receiving you. Duce, um... Do you want to see if we can down the Kid Fox fast? That's the Griffin. Where's the Kid Fox? Cougar, I mean. Sorry. That's the Cougar there. Um, if we're gonna do it, let's not get to PPC range from that Griffin. Copy that. Alright, firing. Commander? Can we get in to see him? Keep our ECMs working together here. Acknowledge. And firing. That's definitely going to help. We're going to have enemy reinforcements really soon. We just don't have the juice to pull these guys down fast. The vehicles won't be any help after this. Why do you lock him now? Come on, Thunderbolt 20 has got to hit. Put him on the Cougar and get rid of it, please. Griffin with that PPC is dangerous. Kintaro is dangerous if it gets close. But it's notorious for overheating, so you could always swarm it and kill it. But I think turn 7 is when the next reinforcements show up. Oh, these are Clan Wolf. Okay, I didn't know that. Which means the next round could be even worse. He's not shooting. Is he at a range? I really hope our turrets do some good damage here. Well, 10 points. 10 that I didn't have to do. Okay, he's coming in. Hope those vehicles stay alive as long as they possibly can. Sensor locks. And the Griffin. No rack damage. Yes! Heads up, Commander. Yeah, you please just stop. <sighs> Hope it's not, it's two lances. Farg. Oh, at least it's only a 25 ton mech. We gotta pull this Griffin and the Cougar down. Kentaro's farting around in the hill up there. Turn our map board a little bit. Don't know if we can swarm this guy. I want some back shots on him. Might be able to get behind him. He's pushing pretty hard. Scorpion, I think, can probably easily be killed by the turrets. I have no idea what they dropped off over there. Shit. Oh, we can't lose turrets, man. We cannot lose turrets. We can get the back of, like, other people, but not this griffin.
PPCs on this side too. Do you think he'd shoot me if I did this? I know I would, but if he's trying to target buildings, he might not. All right. Taking on the immediate threat. Let's shoot this guy. If I move out, if I move out, that means the Kentaro will shoot me out there. Let's move up here and let's hammer this guy. This should be good. Okay, he's unsteady now. What do you need? Can you get back over here? Uh, you have to move out to get a shot on him. Shit. Well, we got the Nova left. Um, is that going to block the Nova, though? Probably. All right, let's target the Cougar. I copy. Okay, two hits. He is not happy. Not happy. Don't think we can pull this guy down, but we might be able to knock his ass on the ground, which will make him completely ineffectual next turn, and then we can get a kill on him. But if these guys get close, we're going to lose this bad. Huntsman. That's bad, because he's got MRMs, doesn't he? Okay, maybe not. What else do we got here? Catapult, that's terrible. God. 108. So guess what? The catapult's got uh, thunderbolts, probably. 2C. Arrows? No. Yeah. I think it's got arrow systems. Orion 2C. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna die horribly here. We take what salvage we can. Kill as many guys as we can. Try and get out without too much of a scrape. We might be able to make it. If they're shooting at these guys, we might be able to just squeak by. This is still like round 8. There'll be 7 rounds after this. Okay. Ah, oh, he didn't get any hits. Should have shot the Griffin, man. Could have got a knockdown on the Griffin. But I guess the Cougar's the lighter target. Probably easier to kill. It's been penetrated. El Duce still needs to go. I want to get him up right here and hit this guy face on. Okay. And what's this guy doing? Still got all our turrets to go. They could take the cougar down. That'll be a huge help. This is a what? Uziel? It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Come on, guys. Think about it. You know what you want to do. No! You're throwing the game. Throwing the game. So there's still two guys up here and another guy back here that we haven't seen. We know who these guys are. God. I think this guy goes before us. Ah, oh, man. 
I'm really concerned about this. Standing by. Get ready for a surprise. Yeah, we didn't knock him over though. Okay, he might have an XL. Probably not though. But we should be able to pull him down, I think. Cougar might drop with the turrets if they fire at him. Kintaro still walking back and forth doing nothing. The AI might think because this guy's got a lot of missiles that he's a long range mech and it's just trying to put him in long range position but then can't fire. Just a thought for anybody uh, from the AI tweaking team that might be watching. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble. This turret goes down, we're in a severe... Whoa! I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Nice maneuver, though. He should have fallen over. He's completely unstable. Okay, nice shooting, man. Yes! More hits. Targeting the vehicles. That's a huge bonus for us. Waiting for orders. Now you got the ability to fire and maneuver. Fire and maneuver, man. Fire and maneuver. It's the name of the game. Uh, we can, but we can't shoot them. I want to get him from the front, but we can't. And if I move up here, we expose ourselves. So he's got full back armor too. Yeah, pretty damn good. I mean, we could. Do an offensive push and try to blow through this torso. Well, regardless, the best move is to get behind him. Just don't get knocked off that cliff there. Uh, if we do an offensive push, what are we looking at here? Really low. But, we could get really lucky. And it is more... It is, uh... Mockingbird. There's the knockdown, though. I guess we could have gone from this. Uh, probably better if we had gone from the side for that one. But oh, we did pen, which means we did some damage inside. So we can take that torso now. I've been yeah, on. screw them. We got to work this one at a time. If we try and do more than that, ah, oh, shit. Raptor. Okay, not too bad. Is this the Uziel? It is. Let's go for this torso on fire. Not enough to kill. Certainly enough to maim. We haven't even... Like, we've killed one guy. That's it so far. Okay, he'll die. Horrible death this turn. God. Understood. 
Let's get back around here. Just using the one, and we're gonna fire. Not quite enough. Yeah, why does that really... You know what, I'm gonna rely on these vehicles to kill them. I'm thinking they're gonna fire at them, or at least one of these turrets will. So we're gonna go after the Cougar next with um, El Duce. See if we can pull the Cougar down. What's a tohu? Tohau? Tuhau? Just keep shooting the vehicles though, that's good. The farther away these guys are over here, the better off for that for us. Six rounds after this. Come on. Kill that griffin for me. Yep, thank you. Excellent. Now I have to wait a half an hour to figure out where he's going to move to. Two down. Ten to go. If these guys started focusing the buildings, we'd be in a lot of trouble. It would be two turns and the game would be over. Maybe less with that freaking catapult. If he split fire on two buildings, he could take two down in one shot. All right, our other vehicle here. Shoot the cougar, please. Just pull right up in front of him and blast him. If we can remove the cougar, then we can start focusing on other mechs that we want to keep, like the Orion, maybe. Although we do have catapult parts, just not catapult 2C parts. Huntsman, maybe. I think we've got Huntsman parts. Hmm. Okay, a coup. Q you. Come on. So Duce's going to have to get off that hill. Don't think we got enough speed to get around here. I was hoping to kill this cougar, but I don't want to move out to do it. That's just going to put us in a whole world of pain, and I don't want to fire at the Orion just yet. I want to make sure all of our guys are shooting at the Orion at the same time. Yeah, that was some severe back pen there. We don't have anything to replace the streaks with, so if we lose them, we're going back to ATMs. The streaks are all I have. No extra streak launchers, no extra streak ammo. So much calculations. Raptor 2, there's something else back here too. Just gonna listen if I can hear if it's a vehicle. Don't think it is. Yes, Couldn't get that lucky. Uh, we cannot get around to shoot the cougar unless we come out this way. Man, this is bad. Move into here, uh, and I am going to Vigilance, just in case they do decide to shoot at me. Um, and we're going to Brace, I'm not going to shoot. I don't want people shooting back at me. Okay, let's hope the turrets do something. They were hammering that Orion last turn. Maybe they can pull him down. Unlikely, but they might be able to strip a lot of armor off him and let me pull him down. Not really about the, I'm not really worried about the cougar now. I think we'll leave him alone. 
move towards taking that Orion out. If that catapult starts to target us, then he's our next target. Okay, they got sensor lock on them. Rack jam. That's the cougar. Is he going down? Yep, he went down. Come on, finish him up. Something else blew off him. Got large lasers. Come on. Yes, thank you. Okay, one less thing that we have to worry about for our backside. Gonna forget about the Kentaro for now. Um, Want to try and kill that vehicle? Or is it the Orion? I mean, we might be able to kill the Scorpion. Five turns left, though. I think it's really should be the, it should be the Orion. He's got a lot of armor, though. It's going to take a long time to kill this guy. Um, catapult. Way better chances to hit, but I don't want him shooting at me. He's got a lot of armor. <sighs> this guy's got an AC. Lasers. Do I want him shooting at me? Probably not. Not yet, anyway. Let's fire at the vehicle. Okay, significant damage. Yeah. Blockade. This may be a mistake. See if we can pull the vehicle out of the battle. Okay, good. There's just one last thing I have to worry about. I should probably reserve Mockingbird and El Duce past the turrets just to see what they're shooting at and then maybe take advantage of that. I think that's what we're going to do. If it is the Orion, they are shooting at the Orion. We can take advantage of that. If these guys keep trying to range these uh, vehicles, it's going to be such a huge benefit to us. So they got eight guys left. We're halfway through the mission. Uh, we're going to reserve, like I said. I want to take us back behind the turrets. Shit, that's... Oh, wait. Did he... I thought maybe he turned his back there for a second. I think what we might have to do though is move forward with the Nova and block the uh, the Cougar from the Orion. I got a suspicion that the Orion is going to shoot the Cougar. put a little bit more ECM on him too. Oh, maybe he won't. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Okay. That's strange, but okay. The two heavy hitters didn't do anything but sensor lock. It's weird to put like use sensor lock on a heavy hitter like that. You really want to use it on somebody lighter up front that you can sacrifice the weapons for so that you can hit hard with your big hitters. But I guess maybe he's setting up for the missile guys on the left. But there's not, many, there's not very many missiles on the left here. Here's the Tuhu, or the Uziel. Whatever they're doing, I have no idea. I don't know who to shoot on. 
I mean, well, here's a thought. If we use both Mockingbird and El Duce with, with, um, called shot and we shoot at the catapult pushing it back a turn then we all blitz and try and kill it from the rear we'd be moving ourselves into the range of the of the huntsman and the and the orion we'd be far enough away that our ecms would protect us from these guys really seeing us or getting any good shots on our backside but we could if we if everybody shoots before this guy and we all get back shots we could pull this guy down he's 75 tons got full armor but I don't know how armored the back is like if we do a full sprint as far as we can here then the next full sprint will be a back shot on this guy if we can get on him next turn because we still have like I said El Duce and Mockingbird to go I think maybe that's what we do if we can pull this guy down with the arrow systems on him I'm pretty sure he's got arrows it's a clan mech so they're not using thunderbolts Let's see if we can get some of the, uh... Now, what do we want to do? Try for headshots or try for leg shots? If we're shooting from the... Well, let's go for the leg. Well, we don't really have a good chance to hit anyway. So if we don't have a good chance to hit, might as well plink the head if we see if we can get it. Wow, those streaks. Holy crap, they hit. That didn't hit. The streaks hit? What are you talking about, dude? I don't know why you're complaining. You did exactly what you were supposed to do. I love the fact that the streaks don't use ammo unless uh, unless it's going to hit. It's a huge bonus for us. It saves so much ammo. I mean, we got enough for 10 turns of continuous firing if everything hits, but at that point, I mean, that's plenty of ammo. You only carry more because you got to factor in all the ones that are missing. Okay. Shooting at the LRM turret. Took a lot of damage, but still, like, total functional. That was... Who was that? That wasn't the Uziel, that was the Raptor, wasn't it? Or was it the Uziel? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm more concerned about this catapult right now. Oh, man. Hope this match doesn't go on forever, because, uh... Well, it won't, because we got five rounds left. Got to go to a movie this afternoon, so I'm trying to get this thing done. This is Sunday, by the way, for me. You guys will probably be seeing this on Tuesday, I think. Um, so once again, we want to offensive push this guy. Um, going to try for a headshot. I know we won't get it, but let's just see. Yeah, we got one hit. Okay. I'll take it. Got a tag on him. Oh, it hit. Thunderbolt hit. Okay, guys. Do or die. If we can go before that catapult. If we all go before this catapult. We might be able to pull it down. I'm figuring 65 points of armor in the back. And, of course, it still goes before us, because why wouldn't it after two offensive pushes? Are you kidding me? And it's in a mineral field now, too. Where did the Huntsman go? Now i got to decide who do we want. This guy's protecting his, his flank. Uziel's taking damage. We could... Eh, I can't really go after that. I mean, I could, but it would be like... Stupidest move ever. I don't even know anymore. Uh... 
get into here. Let's see what our chances are. Okay, there's the Huntsman up here now. 48, 42. 24. Is he in the mineral field? He is. Most likely. Wow, really good chance against this guy. Once again, he's got full armor. Arrows are probably in the arms. Four medium lasers. Um, do we provoke him? I don't know. Such a hard choice now. We've been shooting at him, so we've already kind of provoked him. So let's continue. If we don't shoot at the Orion and the Huntsman, or the Huntsman, they may go after these guys, like the turrets, or these. I guess they can't really see the vehicles anymore. Because their eyes over here are gone. Let's hope they move to within range of the uh, Kentaro here. Just get into here. So we got blockade. He's really got to move because he's got no evasion right now. What are they doing? All right, lay some damage on this guy if we can. Wow, 60-something percent chance to hit only one hit. Are you kidding me, man? Are you that afraid of this thing? I mean, we're all afraid of it, but we're at least hitting it, damn it. That's the Raptor? That's the Tohu? Raptor 2x2? Two two. How much does this guy weigh? 50 tons. Uziel's like 55, I think, or 50. So 75 tonner, 75 tonner, and a 50 tonner, and 55. That's a lot of weight. They got four rounds left. They better start shooting these buildings. I mean, don't shoot the buildings, is what I'm saying. Shoot the turrets. The turrets are dangerous. You gotta kill those guys first. That's what I'd do. That's what John Wayne would do. Why are they moving back? I'm wondering, you know, it's funny with all the ECM we have, I'm wondering if they're having a hard time spotting our mechs. We gotta get some evasion going, so let's back up. A little bit better than the last time. Uh, five hits, not bad. Plus a uh, pulse laser. Maybe the turrets will focus fire this guy, but my guess is they're going to shoot the Uziel again. Now, we got one arrow system. I was joking around about maybe putting that on the Jenner. I, I actually did have a look at it, uh, but at, at 18 tons for the weapon and one ton of ammo with five shots, it's like half the weight, over half of the weight of the mech. It was just no way to do it and make it a viable platform. And then you only get five shots, so if you don't actually hit, like, what's the point? So... It is kind of hilarious. Zeroing in, what does that mean? And why aren't these guys moving? Like, fuck guys. Get back into the damn battle. Okay, that helps. Kind of. Mockingbird is all we got left right now. So unless we rush that catapult, there's like just no way in hell we're going to pull it down. I heard a beep there for a second. Anybody moving? Raptor maybe? Tohu? Tofu? Um, what's going on guys? Fill me in. 
There's got to be somebody else over here too that we haven't seen. I mean, we could go for a bonus and destroy that uh, Kentaro. But I'm more concerned about mech parts at this point. Waiting for orders. Now, do we want to push this guy? If we do that... We open ourselves up to a world of hurt. And that world of hurt is not a good world of hurt. It's kind of like a bad world of hurt. All right, not the best, but we'll take it. Six hits, not bad. I mean, it's less than less than optimal, but still. It's about forty percent hit rate. It's pretty good. Oh man, I'm nervous. These turrets, I hope they shoot the catapult. They sensor locked in with the vehicle. I got another vehicle still to go yet. Uh, that's the Raptor? Oh, it's the Uzio. Maybe he's moving to shoot the vehicles. That would be a bonus. We need to hold it off until the reinforcements arrive. This Kentaro is just going to do nothing. Oh, he's finally shooting. Finally. You can actually see something now. I don't even think you can see this turret. Well, it is camouflaged. Ha. Ah. So this is like... Okay, a rap another raptor. This is kind of painful for a YouTuber to have to wait. Like, you gotta just think of stuff to say. I mean, I could let, let it, I could just sit quietly, but just gotta think of stuff to say. Like, what do you say? Besides, let's see if this guy's gonna move. Or who do you think's gonna move next? I think Tofu's still gotta go. All right, oh, the coup. Coup 2. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Appreciate it. Okay. Maybe they'll finish this guy up. He's got a lot of damage on him already. Sounds like he lost something. That's a few rackets. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Okay, we actually go before this guy. Really? How do we want to play this, guys? Aero systems have a point blank, don't they? Don't they? Do they? <laughs> That's just a really bad idea. Just a really bad idea. Um, I have to worry about the guys up my ass here, too. They decide to switch targets for whatever reason. Let's move back. He's taking a head hit. He's got two arrows. Four ER mediums. I'm almost tempted to shoot for his head. But his CT is taking a t tremendous amount of damage. I think we just fire straight. Better chances to hit. More likely that we hit CT. Which we did. Okay. Standing by. Oh, we can't hit him from there? Yeah, we definitely need Warlord. Okay, firing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits. 
Went from 40 to 60 percent. That's nice. You need to be in the trees, buddy. You can't not be in the trees. Or we can just back up. Don't think this guy can see us back here. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what Thought did, right? Thought he farted, but he shit himself. Okay, three hits. And damage to something. I think we pen the CT. We get a follow up from blockade. I'm almost. Oh, he fell. He went down. That's another pilot wound. I'm almost tended, tempted to run El Duce up his nose and shoot him with uh, streaks in the head. That's so tempting to me. Like, if we can just reserve. Yeah. We can reserve, we can vigilance and try for a headshot on this guy. As long as the Orion and the Huntsman have gone and we can kind of get out of there before they start shooting again. Or if they shoot. That's a whole lot of misses, guy. You gotta get in close. You wanna get that shit to work. Because if we let the turrets go, they may destroy the CT on this guy. Yeah, that Kentaro, you stinky bugger. Well, I don't think if we reserve and then use Vigilance if we're going to have enough of an initiative to... to be able to get back out. Let's try. Let's try it and see what happens. It's almost trickier having a faster lance. The faster lance is nice because obviously because you can go before the enemy. Then you have the choice if you want to reserve or not. But going second, it just means that they've they've already moved and they can't go after you. So you can take a little bit more leeway with your attacks because you could focus fire someone down from behind. I mean, you can still do it by going first. But if they move before the rest of your lance, you're kind of out of luck. And you don't know when they're going to move, right? That's the big thing is you have no idea when they're going to go. I kind of want, I, I want to see this Huntsman and the Orion move before I decide what I'm going to do. If they push forward, then um, we're not going to go for it. But if they linger, then we're going to go for that catapult. I mean, the Uziel is another po possibility for trying to kill. Don't shoot the buildings. It's nice that they're trying to kill all the defenses first. They haven't even targeted the turrets yet. This is kind of weird. I don't know. It just seemed to me like in the in the original Rogue Tech, when these guys would come in, they would just, they'd come. Like, you know, they'd go right for the buildings, right for the turrets. There was no stopping. Now they're kind of like floating around the outskirts. Half of them aren't even firing. Like, you know, he's zeroing in on it. Like, this Kentaro is a prime example. It's probably classified as a missile mech. A me. Yeah, as long as they don't shoot at you. That was the Huntsman. Or that was the Orion. <gasps> he's got his back up, too. If we take the head off this guy, we could take this guy's back. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Oh, by the way, I'm not Chinese, just so you know. It's the whole joke, right? I'm not Chinese and I'm not a jet pilot. I actually had someone say, that. oh, that's, that's a racist and offensive joke. It's like, no, no, I'm not saying there's no Chinese jet pilots. I'm saying, A, I'm not Chinese, and B, I'm not a jet pilot. So that's why when I say we're going to succeed, it's like, and yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot, which means no, we're not going to succeed. That's a Bruce Campbell joke, by the way. So if you're wondering where that comes from. And here I am rambling because I got nothing to say while well, these guys waste time. 
Christ, the reinforcement should have arrived by now. The amount of time it's taken these guys to move. What the hell's taking them so long? Who's those coming down here, eh? I wonder if we can get uh, Blockade to finish him up. Well, maybe not, because he's still got a lot of armor. Although it sounded like he lost an arm or something. Well, they've already moved, so let's go up his nose. Yeah, it's harder to hit from the trees, but it's right. more defense in case this doesn't work. Uh, let's see if we can take his head. Ah, oh, he's taking so much damage to the CT too, right? Let's shoot for that head. He's taking two wounds at least. And we're going to fire... Yeah, well. At least we'll get some salvage out of that. Really, guys? Well, the Kentaro's hit. You know. We can't get his back. I can't if I'm in the rough. <laughs> what else is new, eh? Don't stand in the rough. Can we get the Uziel from here? I don't think we can. No, we can't. Um, do we target the Kentaro now? We need to move where we can't get shot at from behind. Have the best chance of hitting him. This may be uh, a little brash. Okay. Commander? I want this guy gone. So let's get up here, please. No, we got this guy here. Fired him. Ah, uh, not as good as I was hoping. Ready for orders. Shit, that's gonna put my back to this guy. <sighs> can we get around this side? We can. That's better. Going full throttle. We're only gonna be able to shoot one though. But we'll take it. Locked on oh yeah, man. Take back all the bad things I said about you. So I am liking the new streak loadout. I'm thinking it's working really well. I mean, we don't have the bonus ammo like the ATMs have. Um, but I don't have to worry about running out of ammo. That's the thing. I know that every missile is going to hit. Don't have to worry about anything missing. The only problem is going to come is if I get uh, super accurate in 10 turns and we, we're out of missiles, but still got the two pulse lasers, so it's not bad. I consider making another laser boat, but we've got two main laser boats here, plus a long range laser boat, so we didn't really need another one. The missiles are kind of nice for stability damage, so. Yeah, it's going to be hard to hit the Atticus with all this ECM and the, uh... Yeah, he's, he's overheating. And the, um, chevrons of evasion. So going up the piloting line is more important than ever now, getting that extra chevron of evasion. Uh, I'm finding that, in, especially in the inner sphere. These guys, these guys are a pretty solid team, I gotta say. The, uh, evasion and the ECMs work really well on these clan mechs. The, uh, my Inner Sphere group um, in the first mission that they played with the new system. Wow. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Um, in the first mission, we took a lot of physical damage. Um, and I think it, I wasn't ready for the lack of evasion that we had. And a lot of the ECM has removed the evasion tokens, I think. So the evasion, the, your 
the benefit of having the ECMs is hiding you at longer ranges, being able to engage at longer ranges without them seeing you, which we encountered um, in the mission with these guys in the last episode where the enemy just stood there and they didn't even know we were there. Until it was too late, of course. So I wasted out that uh, vigilance on El Duce. I was hoping to be going faster than that, but now this Kentaro is going to get away. We got one more round. Don't know if we can get up there to get him. Still have all our turrets here. Maybe they can pull something down for us. They could target the Huntsman, maybe. Raptor. Finally starting to shoot a building. VSPL lasers, looks like. The camera's going fucky here. I gotta stop. Sorry, man. I gotta stop panning it around while I'm doing stuff. Just want to get a better view of what, who's doing what here. So we could target the raptor, see if we can pull it off the, the uh, building. So there's the Uziel shooting at the vehicle. Duce. We can actually shoot that guy. But if we turn our back, it could be a very bad thing. Yeah, it's still turning our back to the Raptor. We've taken damage in the backside, so it's not really anything I'm interested in doing. I think we have to reveal too much to the Huntsman by doing this. But I think it's probably the best way to go. We've got two guys here in the flank that can tie this guy up. And I don't think the Kentaro is going to be able to get in range to be able to shoot us. He's got an LRM, but I don't think he will. So let's fire at this guy. Looking to ensure the success of this mission, so... I don't want to lose any buildings. I don't want to lose any sea bills. Destroying this guy would be nice, but not a priority. If he gets within range again, we might be able to do it, but it's highly unlikely. Okay. Allied turn. Let's go, turrets. Nope, it's the vehicles. Sorry. So I'll just pause here and I'll wait. Yep. So, how about them leaves? Don't know if anybody watches hockey. I don't really watch hockey. Just trying to make conversation because, you know, waiting for vehicles. My brother used to watch hockey all the time. He used to love the Leafs. I remember he'd always say to me at the end of every season, like, I'm choosing another team. I'm not watching these guys anymore. He was severe. He was really handicapped. And it was it was funny because he had arthritis, so he couldn't open his mouth. And just the way he would say things, oh, I'm not good. I'm not watching these guys anymore. And then of course next year he's right back to watching the Leafs again. Every year he held on to that dream, that dream that the Leafs were going to win the cup before he died, and it didn't work. He tried to hold on to it, but we don't always get what we want, unfortunately. I did manage to get him a uh, autographed uh, picture of Daryl Sittler before he died, though, so that was kind of cool. The company I work for, we did a commercial with Daryl Sittler, so I was able to get him a signed autograph, which he really appreciated. All right, so with that being said, let's have a look at what we need to do here. Um, without turning our back, if we can. Uh, we got lots of back armor. He says before he dies horribly. Um, 
Let's leave an ER medium off. I think probably the way to go and fire. Okay, that was like an arm, I think. It's not falling down. Maybe we do kill this guy. Wouldn't that be hilarious? We can still fire everything. We're going to do it. Come on, kill him. Oh, you missed the last five. But that hurts. Yeah, he took another crit, though. That's important. Uh, can we get over to get him? Oh, we can. If we sprint it, and we got, we've got both lasers back. Let's see if we kill this guy before this game ends. Yes! <laughs> that one's gone. Thank you, El. <laughs> Thank you, Blockade. I take back all the bad things I said about your shooting. Normally you're pretty terrible at shooting, but that was pretty good. Alright, now we just gotta make sure this guy doesn't destroy the building. Yes, shoot him. Distract him from his mission. Don't die, buddy. I think that's pretty safe. It's a safe bet. Alright, let's hammer this guy. Didn't destroy anything, but we did penetrate, which is good. Hopefully these, these turrets like, stop sensor locking. I guess they're programmed to sensor lock if their chance to hit is really low. And these guys standing on mineral fields must make it really difficult, especially can't, since they don't have visual sight on them. That's something I like to play around with. Oh, yes! Thank you! <laughs> thank you for the salvage! Much appreciated. But I like to be able to play around with that, so just to see what these guys do when they can't see these guys. Like, when they, if they just sensor lock and then move up spot them and then see if they all fire that would be interesting to see I hate I okay I don't want to say hate it I dislike it when games don't really give you that ah oh shit they don't give you that you know they're gonna just take my money away don't give you the ability to say um, like to know what each thing does. Crap. A friendly structure has been destroyed. Yeah, I couldn't do anything about that. They're just pissed because I killed the Kintaro. So, like, having a comprehensive knowledge of who will shoot when and why is a good thing to have because if you would think, if you're a mech pilot and you've been a mech pilot pretty much all your life, you'd have at least an idea of who's going to be shooting and why, what you need to do to, in order to get turrets to shoot at long-range um, targets like these guys, if you need to actually get them in your sight range so they can target them. I mean, it makes it's perfect common sense, but not knowing that's what they're going to do is the tough thing. So, so we did fairly well. We pulled down uh, 7 out of 12 guys. One of them was from the Friendly Fire, which is good. They might kill another guy here. If we had like four more turns, we would probably destroy all these guys. Wow. There it is, folks. All right, so 318,000, that should be way more than enough. Uh, why is it minus five? Oh, we lost five off them. They're, they're hating us. Like, they're getting to a point where they want to just, like, take contracts out on our heads. Um, so that should cover our, our uh, damages. Um, yeah, we got pen in the back. That was the, the uh, Griffin jump with the PPC. But uh, we didn't get anything crit, so that's a good bonus. I don't think we got anything crit in this match. Yeah. So the base defense really helped out. 
good XP. This should this should land us a couple of more uh, or a couple of warlords. I'd love to be able to take the catapult parts, but I almost want to see what else is down here. Another arrow system. Um, L more LRMs. Medium ER pulse. So it's more heat, but better range. A little bit better damage. I'm going to drop that in for now. Uh, Clan Ultra 5. We do have one of these. Endosteel, Enhanced Imaging, Exchangers, which we're out of. Um, I know, I keep, keep, I keep taking the same things. I should really be avoiding that. Much as I want to take the lower arm because we need it, I'm not going to do it. Clan mask. Recon sensors. Powered sensors. Arrow ammo. LRM Artemis ammo. It's weird when you have to consider taking ammo. Like, normally ammo is like a non-thing, but you got to consider taking ammo because, like, when am I going to find this in the store? I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to find it in the store. <laughs> oh, man. What do I do here? We're not ready to move up in weight. Um, like, how, how, many, how often are we going to find this mech? If I take four parts, it's just going to be a waste of four... Is it, is it going to be a waste of four selections? Maybe? I don't know. Like the Katara might be a smarter grab? I don't know. Because we're still like medium slash light, right? So arrow systems we don't really need right now. We do have one for a little later. So if I was to grab stuff for now... Why is this only plus one accuracy? Thought they were plus two. I wonder if we take this for the streaks. Although, I don't know, we were hitting pretty good with those streaks today. Um, don't have any exchangers. More sensors might be the uh, more in order because that's one thing we're lacking is a lot of sensors. Like if we grab these two, we'll definitely use them. They'll definitely go in. The Artemis ammo for the Jenner will definitely go in. Um, we don't really have a use for the exchanger right now. The ER medium pulse can definitely go in. I want only definites here. Case two, we're lacking. Um, but I really want clan case two because I think it's half a ton. What is stuff we definitely going to use? I think, well, I think we take that. These are definite upgrades we'll definitely use right away. So let's take the stuff we know we're going to use. So let's confirm this. So we got a catap we got three catapult parts. That's awesome. Cougar part, one, two Kintaro parts, Uziel part, LRM, uh, a couple of bonus SRM6s, no big deal. Endo steel, which we really don't want. We want clan endo steel, not this kind. XL gyro is kind of nice. A couple of clan heat sinks, which we can always stock up on. Yeah, so actually, okay, that was okay. I'm not going to say that was a great run. We got a lot of little things that we can use, but um, yeah, overall, it was good. Wow, it's a lot of things changing hands, but we were in that battle for quite a while, so. All right, 25,000, that's nothing. Nothing at all. So I don't think all of our mechs took damage, did they? Only two of them took damage, really. So... Um, 
it's really the I want to upgrade our max here really quick and then we'll take another quick mission I think with this light lance but um, let's just upgrade the generator right now we know we can put the Artemis ammo in here so let's do that take out a regular LRM ammo and where's our Artemis LRM Artemis ammo let's drop that in um, we don't need sensors on this guy because he's the long-range guy we need it on the close-up guys uh, there's nothing else that we can put in here for now so let's confirm this actually how are we doing heat wise we could pull out a double well we can't pull a double heat sink right we need four never mind I was gonna say we could put the exchanger in here but there's no point okay the next thing we want to look at is the oh, Grinner this is the second Lance lead mech and we've got a bunch of medium pulses so um, I think what we want to try and do here we have the enhanced imaging okay increased so let's get the sensors here let's get some sensors on this guy if we can um, we do have the mask and a watchdog suite so this guy is usually up front um, we want the recon sensors on this guy or the powered sensors I think we want to save the recon sensors for the main lance. We'll just put powered sensors on this guy for now. That'll help a little bit. Uh, let's confirm this. It's just going to be a day. Right. And then let's, so we don't forget here, let's just go forward a couple turns. We need to get the Jenner back anyway. Okay. And then let's have a look now at uh, both, um, where are we here? Stormco Prime, probably. We can't. We got the DNI cockpit. So the Atticus, we got recon sensors on this guy. How good are the recon sensors? Yeah, that's the. What are, what's the other one that we have here? Yeah, we got recon sensors on this guy, too. So let's put the. Okay, let's go back to the. Um, Nova we'll refit this guy and we have Rainmaker on this guy sniper sensors yeah I think that's fine What's our heat running out with this guy? Pretty darn, if we take out, does the Rainmaker, has it been calculated? It hasn't been calculated. So that's okay then. So let's do this then. And we gotta find our Artemis. Streak system can't be used with Artemis. All right, well, that solves that problem. Um, yeah, damn. We gotta get an auto cannon built going with this. For sure. Alright, well that's fine then. So let's have a quick look at the adder. We've got a slick seat and recon sensors. Kit Fox just has regular clan sensors. You know what? Let's leave it like this for now. But you're our ER mediums, so let's just swap these two around here. So this should just be really quick one turn here. Um, recon sensors are going to go. Wait. Oh, those are regular recon sensors. Now we got clan recon sensors, which are better. Excellent. And then the Kit Fox can have the other sensors. Don't need them in the Jenner. The Jenner is going to be... People are going to be spotting for the Jenner. We don't need to worry about that. So let's drop those other sensors in here. A couple of quick direct upgrades and then we'll take that last mission. 
Okay, excellent. One turn. Back in action. And let's have a look at the contracts. Stubborn Surrender. That's the one we're doing. Against pirates. Full salvage. Let's accept this and deploy. We got enough for the end of the month. Um, flush out the main lance. And let's get Shogun, Sundance, six pack, and Hannibal loaded up. And we want the Grinner, right? Yep. And the Adder, the Kit Fox, and the Jenner 2C. And let's hard rock this. All right, guys, here we go. Looks like we found our targets, Commander. All right, well. We fought it out in this map before. Um, okay. So, yeah, what seems like uh, maybe a couple seconds for you guys has actually been three and a half hours for me. I just got back from watching Captain Marvel. And spoilers aside, I thought it was a pretty good film. Um it, uh, I think it suffered from a little bit of pacing issues. That's just me. But overall, it was a quite good film. Um, let's just get back here. If you're a fan of superhero films and Marvel in general, I think it's a good film to go see. Um, let's just get into here. Okay, that was fast. Yes, Commander. Um, we don't want to get too far down here. Okay, got a target on the side here. What do we got now? We got a Clint, a Flea, and a Raven. These are pirates, remember? So, okay, pulse lasers firing. Four hits, nicely done. Six pack. Uh, let's just walk it in. These are kind of inner sphere max. I'm thinking we'll probably be just fine. Oh yeah, good shots here, firing. firing good to go. Uh, let's see what our missile systems are going to do here. So we've got to dedicate this bottom one to Narc, and we'll fire them all on this guy. And yeah, not bad chance did. And we'll include the medium laser, because why not? Okay, got some narc on him. Sure is. We got lots of ammo now. Alright, just walk it up. And fire on this guy. Well, he's still surviving. Oh, he's falling over, though. I heard him fall. These guys can't see us. Affirmative. He's dead. Um. What's up, boss? Did not expect that, but okay. Raven one X. Location confirmed. Ah, overheating already. So we're going to need to look at the heat sinking on that guy, I guess. Just going to walk down and kill all these guys. Just firing. Alright, one of four. It's kind of crappy. Don't think she needs to do much. Just, just walk it over here. Uh, why are we firing normal ammo? Because I'm an idiot. There we go. A little better. Firing the narc as well. Let's go. Got it. No real damage, but we got a narc on him. This better not be it for these guys. Wasted a lot of salvage on this if it did. If that's it, that is. Clint is what? 35 tons? 40 tons. I'm receiving you. 
Well, I mean, I guess we could just, like, take Clint parts or something. God, I feel sorry for the pilots that have to struggle in those things. Okay, let's leave one ER off. Actually, it's not bad for a hot, hot environment. Standing by. Heading out. Uh, we can't go with all the medium pulses, but three are fine. Solid connection on that one. So much faster than these guys too. See if we can burrow. Uh, why did all of a sudden these all change to narc? Don't need narc on this one now. It's already narked. So we're firing. Uh, I'll leave the medium on. It's a lot of threes. Another hit like that and you're toast. He's going down. Model, the Panther model with the weird feet, man. He's back on his feet. What are you doing now? A lot of nothing. Waiting for orders. Um. Roger. I think we're gonna try and leg this guy. We need to get some salvage, so. Okay, there's the leg. Order. Heading out. Trying to save heat by not sprinting. Doesn't matter though. Um, let's go slightly into the overheat. We can cool down next turn. Come on, the leg, buddy, the leg. My mech is overheating. Yeah, I know. Receiving you. All right, let's see if we can target the leg here. Probably end up killing this guy, but uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Firing. Firing on target. Ah. Uh. Think I hit something good. He's panicking. Maybe we can get him to jump out here. Uh, let's multi-target if we can. We can. So we're gonna go here and here. Here. Alright, ER medium stays off. So the LRM 15s are going to A and these guys will go to B. See if we can get them to bail. Uh -huh. Um Did I do that in reverse? Show them what you got. I didn't think I did that in reverse. I guess I did. Mission successful. Huh. Well, not that it matters. We needed it to be a quick mission anyway. That's going to more than cover any repairs that we have. Yeah, 750 XP. Pretty good across the board. One Clint part, a bunch of Raven parts. Uh, whew, it's a tough choice. There's 300 and something thousand. Uh, LRM, follow the leader missiles. Are we going to end up using this? Narc beacon ammo. We might. We have followed the leader missiles. So it's whatever, the, wherever the first one hits, the rest follow. Which is kind of nice. So um, let's drop, take that ammo. Comm system we don't really need. NARC launcher we don't need because we do have, we don't have any NARC launchers, but I don't think we really need them. Uh, core, sure, why not? For C bills. Could take the hand, but we already have one. We need a lower arm. And there's no lower arms here, unfortunately, so... Alright. Alright, flea part. One, two, three, four, five different raven parts. Nice, we might actually get a raven out of this. 
Power medium laser we can sell. We can sell this stuff. All right, so yeah, could have been better. Could have been worse. And no, no damage at all. All right, guys. So we're going to end the episode there. The first uh, mission took a long time. This one was really quick. Unfortunately, I thought it was going to be a little longer than that. But uh, you know, don't look to don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, made some good sea bills off that if we sell those things that we picked up. So. We'll leave it here. Um, if you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And we might be at another planet by the next episode, but we'll see. Until next time, we'll see you later.